2016, Cape Town was declared a disaster area, and there was a clear that we would reach day zero. Day zero is basically the day when we run out of water, or the municipal taps run dry, and all water is redirected to important places such as hospital. There were water points set up all throughout the city where people basically could line up, so kind of like in a village where there's that one tap, everyone goes with a bucket and fills up water. Right now, each person's only allowed 50 liters of water to use every single day and you're not allowed to go above that. Water just gets switched off at random for about two hours at a time and then the geysers are disconnected in most areas surrounding mine and most public bathrooms only have hand sanitizer instead of water. Along the beach there are, um, there are taps that come from the spring water from the mountain and every evening at about 5 o'clock there is a constant queue of about 50 to 100 people that come with 5 litre bottles to collect water because they're unable to either afford the water that the municipality is providing or the water has been cut off so they're forced to come and collect water. Just four years ago in 2014, Cape Town actually had the most rainfall it had over an, in an annual period for in its entire history. Um, but that amount substantially decreased in 2015, 2016 and 2017, 2017 actually proving to be one of the worst years in terms of rainfall since the early 70s. Um, dam levels are currently sitting at between 25 and 28 percent and once those dam levels reach 10 percent, the water can't really be extracted and is therefore like, not usable. Um, recently there has been waterfall, so dam levels have risen again, I mean, not by much, but it was enough to actually push back day zero a couple of times. Um, initially the first date for day zero was April of this year, and it was rain and it was pushed back to June, then July, and now they're saying that we may not have day zero this year after all, but we're still in the middle of a really big crisis.